Hello, teacher. I, I, can you hear me? No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. All right. So, how's everything at the beach? Everything good? Yes. yes very good. It's a, a very good view at the beach. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I'm glad to hear that. So, how was your day at work today? It's uh, how was um, um, a little soft. Uh, so uh, we have to to prepare the the, the, the weekend for many many uh, many activities that uh, I will go in the, in the, in the, in the uh, at the weekend. Okay. Next weekend. You have to prepare mm -hmm. uh, many activities that you're going to do during the weekend. Yeah, yes. All right. All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hold on. I'm going to send a message to everybody else because I didn't see them here. Yes. How was your, your day today? Uh, it was good, man. It was a very productive day. Day. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, um, it was a very productive day, so thank you for asking. What about you, Carlos? How was your day today? Uh, hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, my day was good. It was very quiet, not much work to do, so it was fine. Oh, okay, you're right. It was good, man. It was good. I'm glad that you, you're not saying that it was stressful because most of the times it's yeah, kind of stressful. Yeah, I am finishing the project, so I am happy for that. Oh, okay. All right, that's good, man. That's good. Gloria Navarro, how are you? How was your day today? Hi, good evening, teacher and everyone. Uh, I am fine. Uh, I was uh, uh, busy because uh, I was studying a new function for me in, in Excel. Okay. I am learning about the dashboard. Okay, you're learning about the dashboard. Okay, got it. My God, it's been raining, but it's hot, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to start right now, guys, because we got to move on. So, uh, guys, thank you for being early. All right. Um, I'm not going to be spending so much time greeting each of you, but thank you so much for being here, guys. Okay. All right, so today, guys, we're going to be talking about indirect requests. Okay. So how do you start an indirect question? Carlos Alfaro, go. Uh, pardon me? I could have right, done I'm gonna, it very I'm gonna, well. Okay, I'm going to ask you again. How do you start an indirect question? An indirect question. Yes. Are you having a party or? Um, is that I know. Indirect? Remember, yeah, yesterday, guys, we said direct questions, right? All right. So, okay. So, try to remember, guys. All right. So, who can tell me, guys? Who wants to say this? Okay. Who can tell me, Maria Soledad? Nice to have you here. Is this your first day, Maria? Is this your first day? Well, really, it's my second day. Oh my God! Okay. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, wow, you have missed a lot of classes. But well, I finished uh, the, the first uh, lesson, and now I am completing the second. Okay, you need to finish three lessons at the midterm for today. Okay. All right. So you need to catch up. But thank you for being here, Maria. All right. I'm glad to have you here. My name is David. David now as if you didn't know my name. Yeah. Nice meeting you, okay? All right, guys. So yesterday, guys, we saw a topic how to make indirect questions, okay? So who can tell me, guys, how to make an indirect question? Remember, I gave you an example, right? Like when you go with escuela, right? Things like that. So how do you make an indirect question? Teacher. Tell me. Uh, I, I think that is not, is not a topic. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Our topic is like, uh, 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 did you talk? Did you finish? Did you finish? Uh, hold on, section two, teacher. Is no, 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 we're not in the we're not in section. Yeah, we start the, the section, the three. Yeah, I oh, think they, we are going to start the section three. Okay, so, all right, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, so it's an another, another, all right, again. very good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, so that's good that we're five minutes into the class. Though. All right, guys, so, uh, okay, okay, we gotta catch up. Though. 
Uh, Glory and Amari, then help me read the lesson objective for today. Sorry, teacher. Can so you help me. repeat, please? Yes. Could you please help me read the lesson objective for today? What is the lesson objective for today? Mm, I don't understand, teacher. All right. Uh, Ronnie, what is the lesson objective for today? Okay. Uh, um, the platform is very slow, <laughs> but I, I, I think. Can you see my? Can, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, you're, okay, you're I, 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 okay. Can you okay. see my screen now? Yeah, I, I got right. it. All right, very good. But, yeah. but, uh, three points, zero lesson objective. By the uh -huh. end of the lesson, you will learn about different favors that people ask and express your opinion on favor that you dislike people asking for you. Okay, beautiful, beautiful job, guys. Okay. All right, guys, but, um, so guys, I'm sorry, no, actually, guys, I was right, we were going to start lesson, lesson number two today, lesson number three today, uh, but yes, you have not seen how to make in the right questions, hold on, yes. so let me go back, guys, let me go back to the presentation, I know what's going on now, don't worry, teacher, <laughs> it's okay, it happens, guys, when you get a lot of class, all right, no, but, yeah. but this is, this is the lesson for today, guys, okay, because uh, we got to finish this part, all right? Teacher, do you have a three class uh, in Mustang? No. No, no, no. You mean one after another one? Yes. Simultaneously means that they are like at the same time, right? Ah, the same time. No, I don't have them at the same time. All right, no. But yeah, I do have one after another one. All For right, example, no, guys. You start at, at six, six, seven, or seven, eight. Eight. No, I got seven, eight, and then nine, but then I got uh -huh. other classes during the day. Um, uh -huh. No, but usually what we got here is just that I was preparing the presentation for this one, but another class has uh, another class uh, has a uh, has a uh, uh, we uh, uh, we were talking about indirect questions with another class, so that's uh, that's what happened. So, uh, so that's why you were seeing. I thought that you saw that, but it's okay. I understand that you didn't. All right. Anyways, guys, so the presentation for today is about indirect questions, stuff. So. All right. So uh, first of all, guys, what do you think an, a direct question is? Who can tell me what a direct question is? If you want to make a, if I say, if I say, for example, what is your name? Is that a direct or indirect question? Direct. direct. All right. All right. Direct. It's a direct question, right? Direct question. Yes. Very good job. So take a look at the, we're going to take a look at statements, guys, okay? Uh, and we're going to we're gonna learn how to make those statements into indirect questions. So Ricardo, all right? Ricardo, help me read the first statement. Okay. Uh, 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 Jeff, Tony is having a party. Very good job. Tony is having a party, okay? All right, now, is this a question or is this a statement, guys? It is a statement. It is a statement. Very good. Okay, now check this out. So we're gonna turn the statement into a question, guys. So how do we do that? Uh, let's see. Uh, would you be so kind to help me read, Gloria? Okay. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is yeah. having a party? Very good job. I remember, guys. Mm -hmm. So we pronounce this. Everybody could. Good. Could you tell oh, Jeff, God. right? <laughs> All right. Notice, guys. Notice that that here, this is optional. Okay, you don't necessarily need to 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 uh to say when you're talking. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. All right. So hold on, guys. So let's focus on the first example. Now, what do you notice here, guys? Do you see the sentence on the left side? Do you, do you see the sentence on the left side over here? Yes or not? Yes, teacher. Yes, we're okay. All right, it's right. So it's right over here, right? Yes? Yeah. Yes or not? Very good job, okay? All right, guys. So the only thing that you're going to do, guys, is add this, okay? Write it down in your notebook. Everybody, could you tell Jeff that? Could you tell Jeff that? Could you tell Jeff that? Okay, beautiful, all right? Okay, so. So far, so good? 
All right. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to say, for example, um, Elena, all right? Elena, um, Carlos <laughs> is, good evening, Elena. Carlos is going to visit you. Okay. All right. So, Elena, Carlos is going to visit you. All right. So, how can I turn this into an indirect question, guys? Can you tell me Elena. Elena. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys have heard Elena. Yes, guys, you can say can or you could say could. If you want to be more formal, you can say could, right? Or you can say would too, or you, you can use a different model verb. All right. So could, uh, can or would you tell uh, Elena? Okay. That what, guys? Carlo, Carlo. Carlo. Yeah. That Carlos is going to visit, is going to visit you. Yeah, Very visit. good. He's not Very visit good. her teacher. Oh yeah. Uh, no, actually, could uh, could you tell him, him, could you tell uh, Elena that Carlos is going to visit her? You're right about that. Her. Very yeah. good job. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Right. All right. So who wants to give me another example? Me, teacher. Huh? All right, five, four, three, two, all right, Melina, pick someone. Ronnie. Ronnie, all right, Ronnie. All right, give me another example, Ronnie. I'm going to, uh, Elena, give me one sentence for Ronnie. Um, Any sentence. Okay, how, um, Ronnie is eating meat. Ronnie is what? Um, taking a lunch. Okay. Ronnie is taking, uh, taking lunch, okay? Lunch. Mm -hmm. Or taking his lunch, okay? All right. So how can we transform this into an indirect question? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, Ronnie. Okay, so how can you transform this? <laughs> now, we're missing something here, guys. Okay, Ronnie is taking lunch. But you have to mention... Who you're, who you're, who, who are you directing that to? So, because if you don't mention the name, guys, of the person who you are directing this to, you have to, you have to say you, okay? All right. So you're forgetting something here, Elena. You have to tell someone, okay? So if, uh, for example, guys, if I am in front of, um, say, Ronnie, okay, I'm in front of Ronnie. I'm gonna say, uh, Ronnie. Roses are beautiful, okay? Uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. And, and then you can say, okay, hey, Elena. Um, or you can say, um, could, you, okay. could you tell Elena that roses are beautiful? Okay, got it? Could you mm -hmm. tell Elena that roses are beautiful? Okay. All right, can, but you have to mention. Uh -huh, tell me. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, Ronnie's uh -huh. taking lunch. Ronnie, very good. Okay, Ronnie is taking lunch. Beautiful job. Lunch. Okay, lunch. Huh? Soda. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Okay, so how can we say? How can we make good this? An, how can I make this an indirect question, uh, Ronnie? Um, question. Um, let me see. Is is about the 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 same sentence? Yeah, Ron, oh, no, Carlos, oh, no. Ron, no, Carlos, Ron is taking lunch. I want you to transform uh, that into an indirect question. Uh, could you could you tell Carlos uh, that Ron is taking a lunch? He's taking lunch, guys. Don't say a lunch, lunch okay? <laughs> taking lunch. lunch. All right, not even in Spanish. We don't say that even in Spanish, guys. I don't know why you're saying a lunch. All right, that's... And you give us all. Comprendanos. <laughs> it's okay. No, I, I understand when, when it's something in Spanish, right? But we don't say, hey, va a tomar un almuerzo, right? We don't say that in Spanish. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Very good. Very good. Applause. Good job for you guys. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, guys, everything follows the same structure. Okay. So everything else out right here has the same structure. So all of this is the same, guys. Okay. The structure is exactly the same. Okay, so down here, guys, okay, down here you can see the examples that we discussed, okay? Now, we can use this not only with statements, but also, so we discussed statements, okay? Now, 
imperatives, guys. What are imperatives? Does anybody know what an imperative is? Mandatory. Very good, guys. Imperative means um, something that is that that is um, that is a command. Okay, got it. An imperative is a command. It's like you say, "Who has kids or who has kids here, guys?" Me. All right, Elena, you have you have children, okay? So, do you give commands to your children? They yeah. Tell, hey. Take a bath. Uh, hey, Rafa, 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 Alejandro, Marcelo, Valles. ¿Dónde estás, right? Like, <laughs> all right, limpia el baño, right? Like things like that, right? <laughs> so those are commands, guys. Guys, okay? So those are imperatives, okay? All right. So now, if you want to give, how do you give an imperative to your kid? Uh, let's see. Well, not to your kid, if you don't have a kid. Uh, uh, Arturo Grimaldi. All right. So, Mr. Grimaldi, how do you give commands? Do you have a brother? Do you have a little brother or, or like someone? Do you, do you have a children or something? I don't have a kid. But do you know a kid? Do you have anyone you can you <laughs> give a commands dog. to? A, a dog. dog? Okay. All right. Very good. A dog. A dog, okay, all right. <laughs> so, okay, so how, what command would you give to a dog? Sit down. Uh, take a seat or... Okay, but I need you, okay, but I need you to say the name of the dog. Mocha, take a seat. Mocha, okay, very good, okay. <laughs> Mocha, take a seat, okay? All right, very good, that's a command, okay? So, you can transform this into an indirect, indirect question. So, Francisco Ventura, how do you make this an indirect question? Um, let's, let's see. Uh, could you tell Mocha, take a seat? To you, to you, could you tell Mocha? Mm -hmm. take okay. A seat. Now, guys, now this is something that you have to understand. I understand very good, Francisco. But in this case, guys, you have to use, when you use imperatives, guys, you have to use infinitives, okay? Maybe Could you take tell a Mocha, seat. very good job, to take a seat. Now, the reason, the reason why, guys, is because I told you, when you use two verbs together, what do you use when you use two verbs together? Two. You use I'll two, see. guys, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now the verb, the verb here is tell and take, okay? And in between, we have... We have, um, subject. we have, uh, we have the subject, exactly, okay? All right, so let's have another example. Oh, serious. Now, give me another command. Actually, you know what, Arturo, give me another command, Arturo. Um, uh, Mocha, go to sleep. Okay, right, Mocha. All right, let's say Chayanne, guys, okay? We have to talk about <laughs> Chayanne, all right? Go to phone. sleep, okay? Very good. All right, so who wants to transform this into an indirect question, guys? Ah, come on, come on, come on. Somebody help me. Hey, where are you? Me, teacher. Oh. There you go, Ricardo. I was looking. All right, all right, I got Ricardo first, okay? All right, Ricardo. So I was looking for you, Ricardo. All right, so tell me, how would you, how would you transform this? Okay, cool. Can you tell Ch Chavan to go to a sleep? Chavan, Chavan. Chavan. All right. Okay, all right, very good. Could you? Could you, Chayan? Could you tell Chayan? Tell Chayan to go to, to, go go to a sleep. To sleep, okay? okay? Now, we forgot something here, guys. We forgot to say, uh, for example, Ricardo, okay? Ricardo. Could you... Um, could you tell Mocha or Chayanne, right? Chayanne to go to sleep. All right. So we can we can do it as well. Okay. We can use we can use the same the same example that we use above. Okay. So far so good, guys, with imperatives. So far so good. You have to say yes or no, all right? Yes. 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 All right. Very good. Yes. Okay, guys. So. All right, so what is the next example? So we covered statements, we covered imperatives, now we're gonna go with yes or no questions, okay? So let me read the first yes or no questions of series, of series Seren. Sophia, are you free on Friday? Very good job, Sophia, are you free on Friday? Okay, now how can you transform that into, a, into a, uh, an indirect question uh, of series?
serious? Teacher. Tell me. What is? Um, no Spanish. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. Who you ask Sofia? Is she free on Friday? Very good job. Can you ask Sofia or could you ask Sofia if she's free on Friday? Okay. Okay, guys. All right. So, uh, do you notice something different from any other, uh, from the other questions above, guys? Here, do you notice anything different? If and whether. In the just no question, we use if. Okay, very good job, guys, okay? So you're using, guys, if you use a yes, no question, guys, you have to use F. You have to use? S. F. Okay, very good. Guys, I hope that you are writing everything down because I'm going to ask you, okay? You have to write everything down in your note because otherwise you're not going to remember. All right? Now, uh, let's take a look at the second example. What if we have, what if we have a yes or, uh, I mean, uh, what if we use the auxiliary do, all right, or does, okay? So, Sophia, do you have my number? How can we transform that into an indirect question? Could you ask Sophia, whatever, she's my number? Very good job. Could you ask Sophia if whether or not, repeat guys, whether or not she has my number? Whether or not, she has my number. number. <laughs> okay, now can can I say can I say could you ask <laughs> Sophia, all right, or could you ask her whatever right doesn't matter. Could you ask her if she has my number? Could I say that? Is this correct? Yes or not? Guys, is this correct? Uh, yes or not? Yes. Yes. Yes, guys, it is correct. Okay. So you can, use, you can use whether or not, or you can use if. Tell me. Uh, what is the meaning of well? Uh, of whether? Repeat, guys. Whether. 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 Okay. Whether or not, guys, is the same as if. All right? Mm -hmm. It is exactly the same. Whether is when you have an alternative. Okay? Whether or not. All right? Got it? Whether it's the same as if, guys. Okay? It's the same. If means whether or not. Yes? I thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. very good. So whether or not is equals if. to if, all right? Beautiful. It's the same. There okay. is no difference. There is no difference when you use it like this. No, there is no difference, okay? All right. One means, okay, podría decir a Sofía, sí, está libre en el, 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 on, um, el viernes. And the other one, podría decir a Sofía, si sí o no está libre el, el, el viernes, right? Say sí or no, all right? Whether, whether or not she's free on, on Friday. So it's the same thing, guys, okay? You can use Teacher, them. Teacher, whether sería sí, sí. Don't say, don't talk in Spanish. <laughs> you, <laughs> you do it. Because, <laughs> because I wanted to teach you, right? You're not teaching me, all right? All right. <laughs> okay. It's okay, it's okay. All right, yes, it is the same, okay? It doesn't mean, guys, it's or no. Don't translate it, I'm just making it up, okay? It just means... It is, it is uh, how do you call it in programming when you say if? It's a conditional, guys, okay? Got it? Yes? Whether yeah. or not, guys. Yes. So whether yes. or not is a conditional too, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So it is the same thing, okay? All right. Now, what, what about WH questions? All right. Uh, let's see. WH questions. Maria Soledad, help me read the first WH question that we got here. Yes, yes, when does the party start? Very good job. Uh, Jeff, when does the party start? Okay, and how do you say that into, uh, how do you transform that? Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Very good job. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Okay, beautiful. All right, so what do you notice here, guys? What do you notice that is that is uh, different from the ones above? The bear. Okay, so you can you can. We start use with... does, and to answer we use when. Very good. Okay, one thing, guys. Okay, very good. You say 
can you ask, okay, Jeff, Sophia, whoever, right? All right. Yeah. Now, you use the WH, the WH word, guys, when, okay? When the party starts. Now, guys, now notice something, okay? When you're making, when you're transforming this, guys, when you use the auxiliary, when you use the auxiliary do or does, okay, when you use this, okay, all right, you do not use it, when? you do not use it, you do not use it here, okay? So it is eliminated. Now, when you use uh, a WH question, so for example, uh, Francisco, okay, uh, what time it is, okay, what time is it in your country, okay? Now, guys, when you do this, guys, okay, the verb be, okay, goes to the end of the sentence, okay? So you would say, could you tell, could you tell what, guys? Could you tell Francisco. Could you tell Francisco? What time? What time? It's in his country. Okay, what time? It's what time country. it is it's in it his is. country, okay? Could you tell Francisco what time it is? But, but in this case, guys, it wouldn't be what could you tell. It would be could you ask, because it's a question, oh. right? Could you ask Francisco what time is it or it is? It's what do you think? No, what time it is, guys, okay? Because mm. you're not making that. Guys, no, just, I'm going to give you a tip, okay? When, you, when you're doing a question, when you have could you ask, this is already a question, okay? Don't forget that, okay? You're making a question right here. Now, you do not need to make another question. So you cannot say what time it is. I'm sorry, what time is it? If I, if I say what time is it, is it a question or is it a sentence? It's a question. It's a question, it's a question, a question. right? So that will be how many questions within one question? Two. two that questions. will be two questions. Yeah. Very good job, okay? So you don't want to make two questions, guys. So you have to make a sentence, okay? Could you ask Francisco what time? It is. Why it is and not is it, guys? I told you, the the, the verb be goes at the end. It goes at the end, okay? Could you ask Francis what time it is? And then you can ask the compliment. It's his country, all right? So far, so good, guys? Okay. Yes. All right. Very good job, guys, okay? So uh, that's what I was going to – that's what I was, was going to give you the example, okay? Okay, do me a favor, guys. So everybody is going – to give me uh, an example right now, okay? All right. So let's see. Who wants to start, guys? Who wants to give me the first example with with a statement? Who wants to give me an example with a statement? Now, while everybody, while that person is giving the example, guys, you're gonna send the examples on the chat room, okay? So everybody else in the chat room, you're gonna send me an example with a statement, and uh, and I'm gonna ask one of you, okay? So let's see, Brenda. All right, Brenda, how are you? Fine. Brenda. Okay, Brenda, uh, give me a statement, Brenda. Uh, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. <laughs> teacher what? Uh -huh. the Foster is sleeping. Okay, all right, all right. Ponedero, right? Yeah. <laughs> Foster is sleeping. How do you say ponedero, guys? I don't remember. All right, whistle blower, right? Remember, with whistle, people, right? Whistle. Whistle. Right? Whistle. right? Blower, right? I'm Beautiful. I'm going to get all right, so all right, so now give me give me the indirect question for this. Go. Please. Hello. Could you tell uh -huh. the teacher that good. Foster is sleeping? Very good. Could you tell the teacher? Now, is can I say, can I, could you tell the teacher Foster is sleeping, guys? Instead oh. of that Foster is sleeping, would that be correct? That Foster? This is optional, guys, okay? That is optional. You don't need, you don't need to use it. So you can say... I mean, you may, you can use it, but you don't need to. Got it? It's optional. So you can say, could you, could you tell the teacher that Foster is sleeping? Okay. Beautiful. All right. Oh, serious. Give me another one. Give me one with. Um, okay. So you're gonna give me one with. 
um, with an imperative, okay? Give me an imperative. Would you add uh, the statement? Yeah, first, first the imperative, the imperative statement. Okay. Uh, teacher, huh? could you, uh -huh. no, teacher, uh -huh. send me the class. Send me, okay, send me the, the class, okay, send me the assignment, the assignment, all right? The assignment. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Teacher, send me the assignment, good job. All right, so now transform this into an indirect question. Um, Tony, could you tell the teacher to send me the class, the statement, the assignment? Okay, the teacher, okay, to send me the assignment, okay? The assignment. Okay, now guys, what's wrong here? There's something, there's just one thing wrong here. Very good job, very good job. It was a good job, but there's something that we can improve. So what do you think it is, guys? Could you tell here? Could you tell? Uh, uh, um, okay, guys, is, it a, is, is she asking? Um, Could you ask? Actually, you know what? It's know. it's not. You're correct because you're giving me a command. Okay, you're giving me a, you're giving me an imperative. I was gonna say, could you ask the teacher? But it's okay because if you say, could you tell the teacher to send me the assignment? That's a command. Okay. So good job. We're gonna leave it like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Uh, now let's talk about. Who wants to give me the next example, guys? What is the next one on the table? Yes or no question. Yes or no questions. Okay, Arturo Grimaldi, let's go. Give me a yes or no question, sir. Um, teacher, it is raining. It's raining. <laughs> it is raining. Is that a question, guys? It is raining. Teacher, it is raining. Is, is it raining? All right, very good. Is it, is it, is it raining? Teacher, is it raining, okay? All right, so Arturo, transform this into a direct question. Would you, would you tell me? Okay. Uh-huh, could you tell me? If it is raining. Okay. Could you tell me if it is raining? Very good job, man. All right, very good, man. All right, very good. Applause for Arturo, guys. Good job. All right, what is... All right, applause, guys. Come on. <laughs> that was that was more difficult than the other ones. Okay, Maria Soledad, give me the second way of saying this same, this same statement, uh, but not use it if. I want you to use the other way of saying it. Um... The yes or no question or statement? Yes. You're going to say, teacher, is it raining? But you're going to give, you're going to say it uh, using an indirect, indirect question, okay? Indirect question. Oh. Uh, can you, can you tell me whether or not it's raining? Oh my God, very good. Okay, applause for Maria, guys, beautiful. All right, all right. So can you tell me whether or not, all right, whether or not, is it raining or it is raining? It is raining. It, it is, is raining, raining. guys, it beautiful. Is raining. Beautiful, guys, beautiful, beautiful job. And what is the, the other one, guys? What is the last one? Huh? W, w questions. WH questions, guys. WH okay. question. All right, so give me a WH question. Jorge Mendoza, go. Okay, teacher. Give, give uh, me a WH question, yes. Okay, perfect. So let me see. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Ronnie, uh -huh. when does the class start? When does the class start, okay? When does the class start, okay? So transform this into uh, an indirect question. Okay, uh, can you tell me? Okay, Ronnie, oh, so, so can the, you tell me? Uh, when the class start? When the class is start, guys, or starts? It starts. starts. Okay, when starts. the class okay. starts. starts. Good job, Jorge, applause for, jo for Jorge, guys. 
Beautiful. Guys, you're pretty smart. All right? <laughs> you might forget this tomorrow, but you're you're very good right now. <laughs> good job, guys. Guys, do you have a question? Do you understand, guys? Is it peasy? It's a piece of cake. It's All right, very good, guys. No, it's a no, piece of cake. Yes, All right, guys. So I'm, I'm just going to do, do a quick review, guys. I'm going to move up pretty fast because this is just a review of uh, what you saw in Intermediate, okay? So when we use yes or no question, guys, all right, uh, you, the only thing that you, have to, that you have to be aware of is that you're going to use the conditional you're going to use what? If, yeah. right? Or you're going to use whether or not. Whether okay? or not. All right. When you use, uh, when you make uh, WH questions, all right, when you make WH questions, guys, the only thing that you have to be aware of is that you have to use the same, how do you call this? When or that. When, when. or what. Okay. You have when. to use WH words, guys. Okay. Those are called WH words, right? Write them down. Okay. WH words, okay? So this is what, we, what you're gonna use, all right? All right, beautiful. All right, and then, um, and it's then, a, it's a, sorry. Yeah. yeah. When is a WH question, when uh, can I use who or where to? Yeah, where? any WH question, guys, okay? Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's make an example. Uh, who wants to who wants to give me an example with who guys? Anyone? Uh, okay. Uh, can you tell me who no, is no. the person? All right. First, first of all, the WH question, and then we do the indirect indirect question. Okay. Um, me, teacher. Uh, who's Alison. the teacher? Allison. All right. Let's go, Allison. Um, Sarah. Who is your new friend? Who is your new friend? Okay, you sound like El Toxico. All right, Sarah, who's your new friend? All right? Yes. All right, so Sarah, who's your new friend? Okay. All right, so let's see. Oh, series. How can you transform this into an indirect, indirect question? You tell me. Uh huh. <clears throat> oh, uh, serious, I think I think that you're muted. Oh, serious. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. All right. <laughs> uh, could you tell me who is your new friend? Okay. Could you tell me? Okay. Tell mm -hmm. me who is. Your new friend. Is this correct, guys? Yes or not? Yes. I think yes. Who's okay, who says otherwise, guys? Arturo Grimaldi, what do you think? Is it right or wrong? Wrong. Why? It is wrong. Why? I think because um the correct form is as can you ask Sarah who is no, I don't remember that, the question. That, 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 that's, that, that's not that's not what is what it is in I, I think that this is a, a direct question. Okay, all right now guys let me ask It you is something. incorrect because she is using uh, two questions in one. Very two good, guys. She's okay. using two questions, okay? So she's saying, could you tell me? All right, could you Who tell me? Is this friend? a question? Yeah. Yes, All right, it is. Now, yes. Who is your new friend? Is this a question? Yes, yes. All yes. right, yes, very good, is. guys. So you can only make one question, okay? So instead of saying, all right, could you tell me? Could you tell me? Who the subject your new friend your new, friend, your new friend is and the verb be goes at the at the oh, end at, at the, the end, end guys okay sentence. at the end of the sentence okay so that is it got it uh osiris yes teacher all right beautiful beautiful job hey that's such a pretty name a name of a egyptian egyptian goddess right thank you 
All right, so uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Okay. All right, so now let's let's go to the next one, guys. Which is uh, hold on. All right, guys. So if we use um, if we use uh, I'm sorry, if we use um, uh, if we use imperatives, guys. We have to use infinitives, okay? I'm not gonna give you more examples because I already gave you examples, but write it down in your notebook. Imperatives equals infinitives, okay? What are infinitives, guys? Two. All right, well, we use two, guys, the word two, okay? Two plus the base form of the verb, okay? To work, to what? To be, to what? To what else? To go. Walk. To go. Okay. Every time that we use two guys plus any verb in base form, okay? So okay. if you're saying an imperative, guys, okay, this is what we were saying, okay? Hey, uh, Allison. Okay, Allison. Uh, don't cheat on your boyfriend. Okay? If we say this, guys, okay? Uh, we're going to use we're gonna use an infinitive, okay? So how can we say this, guys? How can we say, Allison, don't cheat on your boyfriend? Mm. Indirectly. Mm -hmm. Not not so cheap. Okay. Mm. Alice, okay, could you remember guys? It's the same thing, right? Can you tell? Could you tell? Can you tell Alice okay. to not cheat? Not to, cheat on not to right? Okay, repeat guys, not to. What if you want to say, guys, what if you want to say, uh, Alison, cheat on your boyfriend? How do you say that indirectly? We just remove not. Exactly, exactly, Allison? guys. Alison, right? I'm sorry, uh, can you tell Allison or could you tell, right? Could you tell Allison okay, to cheat on her to boyfriend? On. Okay, all right, so this will be the question. So, so far, is it good? Okay. Yes. All right, yes. so very good, guys. Okay, so with imperatives, we're going to use infinitives, okay? okay? All right, with yes or no question, guys, okay, what do you think that we're going to use with yes or no questions? With yes or no questions, guys, we are going to use if or whether, okay? So in summary, guys, if or whether for yes or no questions. Uh, for WH questions, we're going to use a, how do we call these these uh, these words? WH question. WH words, guys, okay? We're gonna, a WH question is the whole question, right? This one right here, when, what, this, that's a WH word. But you can also call it knowledge questions if that helps you remember, okay? All right, beautiful. All right, so if you use imperatives, what, what are we going to use if we use imperatives? Infinitives. Infinitives, okay? Infinitive. And if we use, if we use statements, we're going to use the word? The that. Word? That. Is, is that optional, yes or not? Optional. optional. Yeah. optional. Yes, it is optional. Yeah, it is optional. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful okay. well, job, guys. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, applause for you guys. That was a really, really beautiful job, okay? You understood, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do you have a question, guys? No, no, no. Okay, guys, so now, guys, uh, so this whole section, guys, this whole section is everything I explained. This is a very short quick section, guys, because you have to finish, guys, the section three today, all right? And you have to do the, the midterm. You have to really? Midterm, right? Are, yes. Uh, Really? The, whole section, the whole section three, guys, is what I explained to you right now. For okay? Monday. No, it's not for Monday. The whole section three is like for today, and by tomorrow, guys, you have to finish the midterm, okay? <laughs> Got it? That's nice. No. That's nice. You're kidding. No, no, guys, okay? It's not, like, believe me, guys, if I, if I wish, I wish I could take, like, a week explaining you this, but we don't, it doesn't work like that. The program doesn't allow me to give you, like, like, a days in one single topic, Okay. Because we gotta move on, right? That's uh, that's what it is. This, this, and okay. this is what I explained to you, okay? All right. 
It is exactly what I explained to you. So we're going to work on the exercise right now, guys, okay? Uh, so everybody go to 3.4 exercise, okay? And let's solve it, okay? So you're going to solve 3.4, or you're going to solve them all together right now in, in, in the, the, the following, the next 10 minutes, okay? So 3.4, uh, 3... Okay, this one, guys, you're going to do at home, okay? All right? This one, don't do it here. Just do it at home. It's just a listening exercise. Uh, and you're going to do the 3.12 today, okay? Like right now. So you're going to do again. Uh, I repeat 3.4. And you're going to do 3.12. Got it? This is, this is, this is. Which one are you going to do, uh, Elena? Okay. Which ones are we going to do? Uh, 3.4. 3.4. 3. .4. 3. And 3.12, uh, uh, okay? 3.12. All right. These videos, guys, are what I explained right now, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. So it is, it is the same, okay? All right, beautiful, guys. So let's work on it. You got 10 minutes, and we are going to go back. All right, let's go. Hi, Ricardo. Hey. Hi, Francisco. How are you? How's it going? <laughs> so far, so good. Okay, yes. we we have to complete the exercise, right? Or just or we have to practice? No, you have, you have to complete the exercise, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and, and try to to solve the exercise on the platform. Uh, let, let, let me open the, 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 the platform in my, my phone. Yes, pronunciation is platform. All right, let's go ahead. Right. Let's say platform. All right, very good, very good. Was wow. the was the topic clear, guys? Yes. All right, beautiful. Yeah, I didn't, see, I didn't see many people struggling today. <laughs> Three point four. Number. Number one, uh, it is. Uh, it says you want to use your roommate roommate's computer. Uh, let, let me check. Uh, I, I couldn't uh, uh, using this this in, in Okay, the, no problem. What, what is the what is the point? The, the three three point four. Three point four. Let me check. David. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, did you work on Focus, right? A long time ago, I worked at Focus, yes. On Texila Tech Support. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you worked there too? Yes. Yes, I did it. Oh, my God. Do you remember me? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't remember <laughs> you, man. You, you was working on Graveyard, right? Y yeah, but not at Texila. Uh, like, I, I started at Texila. Uh -huh. But then I moved on to uh, Triangle Media. Ah, uh, okay. And then yes, I, I was in, in Graveyard. Yes, I was on Texil. I, I was like fatter, <laughs> you know. I was like like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude! Really? Oh my God. Yes. So you met uh, Melgar. Melgar. Yeah, yeah, Ricardo. Oh God, dude. We were so like, yes. We were very close together with. Ricardo and Melgar, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I worked, I, worked, I worked in Graveyard at Texila, too, man. Yes. Um, yes, I do remember did, you. Did, you. Did you meet uh, Andrea Cruz? Yeah, I think. She's doctor, right? Or not? No. She was no. a white, slim girl. Tall, white, uh, straight hair. And tall? Hair. She, she was she, tall, right? She was not so tall, but she was kind of my height. No, I don't remember her. No, you don't? Hey, but that's <laughs> cool, man. I'm glad to see you here. All right. <laughs> so where do you work now? I'm working at Pricemart right now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And what so, do you do there? So I'm a logistic trade compliance coordinator. Nice, man. Mm -hmm. hey, yes, but cool. I have forgotten a lot of things about English. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, but that's yes. good, man. That's good. I'm, I'm glad that you moved on. And uh, uh, I don't. I really still don't remember you. <laughs> <laughs> because I was on. How do you say in the? Oh, hey. 
on the. Uh, you were you were in a on on a different team. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And then differ and in a different schedule too. Oh, in a different mm -hmm. schedule too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, but that's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was like in 2014. Yeah, like 13. Yeah, around seven years ago, I think. Jesus, we're mm -hmm. old, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, keep all right, keep it up, man. Uh, just finish and help Ricardo, okay? Okay, perfect. All right. Beautiful. Yes. I think yeah. it's complete. Let me check. I was wondering if you let me use your computer. Roommate's computer. No, because um, if you see the example, the statement says, you want to borrow your co-worker mm -hmm. on the camera water. And the, mm -hmm. and the example is, I was wondering if you mind lend me you your underwater camera. Mm. Uh huh. It's like I you are asking him directly mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right. I think the 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 correct form here is I was mm -hmm. wondering. If, if you let me use your computer, uh -huh. let me check. Okay, good, guys? Uh, not really. What happened? Tell me. Uh, we don't understand what do we have to do. Oh, my God. Guys, um, I understand, okay? And don't worry. But I asked you if you had any questions. All right? Did I uh, ask her or did I not ask her? Yes, yeah, but we have to complete the 3.4 and the 3.12. No. Okay. No. You have uh, to in 3. the 3.2 and 3. Point, I'm sorry, uh, you have to complete um, 3.4? Yeah, 3.4 and 3.12. Yes, yes, uh huh. Yes, uh huh. And but we want to watch a video first. Yes. <laughs> No, yes, okay. Yes. The reason why, guys, okay. The the reason why. Uh, oh, you mean you mean uh, the the one for the, the exercise. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. The 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 topic the topic that I gave you guys was um was the indirect <coughs> questions, okay? So that is in the three point four. Yes, guys. Okay. Do me a favor and uh, yes, watch the three point three video. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you're right about that, Alison. Good job. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Don't worry. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yep. Hello, 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 guys. Hi, teacher. For the for the three point four guys, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you have to have you have to watch the video, guys. All right. Uh, if if you have a question, right, you have to watch the video for the three point four exercise. But it's basically, guys, uh, just how to make requests, you know, with with models. Right. Uh, guys, uh, for the for the three point four example for the three point four exercise, guys. Okay, do me a favor, and uh, if you have a question, just watch the video before the that exercise, just for the three point four. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Gloria. I am. Uh, I need to help in the. 3.4 and the in the number one. Yeah. I think uh, I need use the conditional because the answer is that it is okay. Okay, that's that's what I was telling you right now. Uh, if you need to watch the video first, okay? I forgot to mention that. You need to watch the video first to answer the questions on the 3.4, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Right, but if you have a question, uh, let me know. Just raise your hand and I'll help, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. To call the police. All right, guys, uh, for the 3.4 exercise, 
you do need to, if you have a question, right, you do need to watch the video as well, okay? Um, but okay. if you have a question there, just, just uh, bring it up, let me know, all right? Okay. And, and I'm sorry, this section, guys, if you notice, it's like, it is the same topic, but that's because in the second week, we have to finish section two and three and the midterm, all right? All right? It's not that, okay. like, believe me, yo quisiera no terminar así, pero... En la segunda semana me piden, nos piden a todos los coordinadores que terminemos la sesión 2 y 3 y el midterm. Okay, good. All right. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, but just watch okay. the video, and, like do it on, on your own time. Okay, if you have a question, let me know. All right. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, for the uh, for the 3.4 exercise, uh, mm -hmm. do me a favor and just if you have a question, just watch the video beforehand, like the one that goes before it, and. Mm -hmm. um, and they complete the exercise after that, okay? If, if you have a question on how to solve that one, okay? Yes, because we are having some problems. <laughs> yeah, I, I will I'll Sorry. help you with that, don't worry. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, I know, guys, that it's a, it's been a little bit rushed. Mm -hmm. But on, on the second week, I have to finish section two, three, and I have to finish the midterm as well. Okay, perfect. So, so it's, okay. really, it's not a, that I want to rush it, guys, but I... I I, I actually Just, we do need to finish it like that. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I think we're gonna go back here because it's only three minutes, guys. So we're gonna go back. All right, guys. Welcome back. advanced okay all right guys so um so since we're running out of time guys uh i am gonna upload the video i um i'm gonna send you guys um yeah i'm probably gonna do it like this tomorrow guys okay tomorrow that it's friday if you have a question guys you can you can ha you can write me guys after um after 4 p.m okay I'll be here and I'll be answering any questions and reinforcing anything that you have to do. Not not on video, guys, but I will be helping you like uh, like on WhatsApp, okay? If you need any help with with this, I forgot to mention, guys, and thank you for bringing it up. The uh, the exercise three point what is it? The three point four, guys. Okay, do my favor if you can't answer this, just watch this video here, okay? All right, just watch the video before. Everything else, everything from here, guys, up to here is what we explain, okay? okay? The reason why why you have to finish this, guys, uh, you have to finish it. Like this section, guys, I would ask, I would, I would really appreciate it if you can finish it today, guys. The reason why the section three is, is, uh, is done on like one hour, guys, is because we have to finish, um, we have to finish section two and three on the second week, okay? And we also have to finish the midterm on this week. All right. Okay. I usually do it afterwards, guys, but they don't let me do it on the next weeks anymore. So uh, if you can't finish this today, guys, let me know. If not, I will be talking to you. I will be reaching out to you tomorrow after 4 p.m. Okay. So okay. so you okay. have if you have any questions after hey, 4 p.m. tomorrow, everything uh, I will help you with that. And um, once you finish the section three, guys, please don't send me a, uh, send me a screenshot. And then tomorrow, okay, tomorrow on your free time, or if you want to start it today, guys, that's okay too. You're going to start doing the midterm, okay? The midterm, guys, so all the questions, guys, every exercise that you solve here, guys, on Monday, I'm going to solve them with you, okay? So these exercises, the listening, this, 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 and this, guys, everything, I'm going to help you with this on Monday, okay? But you have to finish it, so... Um, so, antes de lunes, guys, tienen que haber terminado, like, tomorrow, guys, ya tienen que haber terminado el midterm. Pero esto, guys, nadie puede llegar al lunes, pero eso sí es súper, súper importante. Nadie puede llegar, haber llegado al lunes sin haber terminado el midterm, ¿ok? Este es un examen, guys, ¿ok? Pero yo el lunes okay. le voy a dar con el examen, ¿all right? Okay. Got it? All right, beautiful, guys. All right, guys, so I got another class in coming, guys. Thank you to each of you guys for uh, joining in uh, early, guys. Please reach out to me. Por favor, contacteme if you have any questions. Uh, estoy disponible mañana después de las 4 de la tarde. Got it? Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Thank you, guys. Take care, everyone. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.